know what? One thing that you can say for sure about Delmarva, it is steeped in tradition. And that's what makes it so Delmarvelous. And this weekend, you can celebrate the local traditions with the Delmarvelous Festival. And here to tell us more about it is the Director of Corporate and Community Relations at the Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art, Salisbury University, Shauna Kearsley. Hi, Jimmy. Thank How you are you? Hi, Lisa. Here. Thanks for having us. Oh, it's wonderful. And it's wonderful to talk about um, a festival that really celebrates the traditions of Delmarva. Oh, absolutely. So on uh, the 23rd, we're going to be having the Delmarvelous Festival. Mm -hmm. One thing that is uniquely special about it is it is sort of a prelude to the National Folk Festival. The Ward Museum is the curator of the Maryland stage, so if you want to get a prelude as to what's coming at the Folk Festival, this is a great place to be. We'll have uh, demonstration stages where we're uh, making Smith Island cake, we're picking crabs, we're doing oysters, we're doing soft shell crabs. Uh, we have narrative stages where um, you're having the Pocomoke Indians will be there talking oh about their life ways which wow. yeah that's always um, just a really good time for folks that are into history and heritage of Delmarva and there's something interesting that's happening on the narrative stage this year and I don't know much about it so I'm excited to learn about it uh, James Lane will be there and he is a historian from Crystal Maryland and he will be talking about a very small African-American town called San Domingo mm -hmm. here on Delmarva so I am looking forward to that um, outside we will have Ranger Bob who will be doing paddling demos. Um, there will be food. Uh, so there will be a lot of things going oh, on. A whole bunch going on. Let me back up. Back it up. Here's well, you, break it down just, a little bit. When you started out, you started talking about Smith Island Cakes. That's got to be one of the biggies. Smith Island Cake is definitely one of the biggies. Uh, Miss Ada Marshall, who has national renown for the Smith Island Cake, and Smith Island Cake is the official cake of Maryland. Right. So Miss Ada Marshall and her sister Janice will be there talking about Smith Island cakes and the history and the heritage, but also um, teaching you how to make Smith Island cake. Mm. Yeah, so that's, that's gonna be really awesome. And our education department, which is amazing, are um, partnering that with an, uh, an art project, a cooking demo with the children. So the, your kids can come in and learn how to make Smith Island cake and they'll be taking them home in mason jars. Oh. So they can take them home and make them for uh, the family. So how about we, that? Yeah. Yeah, and speaking of kids, I imagine uh, there's a lot of activities for them throughout the event? There is a lot for the kids. So we're having many art experiences for the kids throughout the day, uh, tied into the history and heritage of the tradition. Uh, we're having a carving of soaps where we use soap to teach the little ones how to carve uh, decoys. Uh, there'll be painting projects. Um, making of the Smith Island cake. So all of their activities are tied into the overall theme of the Del Marvelous Festival. Kids. <laughs> yes. I want to get in on some Jimmy of that. wants to carve some soap, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay, so a bunch of famous people, important people from Del Marva. Tell me about Captain Kermit Travers. Oh, Captain Kermit Travers is the I would say the only African-American skipjack captain. Mm -hmm. And he's just an amazing, amazing man. Um, and you, once you, you, know, you hear him talk and you go into the history and heritage of the skipjack and of African-Americans' place within that world um, brings to life an amazing story. So Captain Kermit, he is, I could listen to him for hours. Mm -hmm. wow. So he will definitely be there. Yeah, yeah, we actually did a Delmarva treasure on him once. A very, very uh, fascinating person. And, 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 and talking about this festival, Festival. One thing that's great about it, especially if you have a big family, it's free. Yes, it is free. The festival opens at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we're able to do that because of our sponsors. And mm -hmm. we have a lot of collaborative partners here on the Delmarva Peninsula. We have Hebron Savings Bank, the Fruitland Lions, um, uh, Salisbury University. Uh, so we have a lot of folks that have come to the table that have supported us. So we're able to offer these um, events for free to the public. So it's pretty safe to say that you feel it's important to honor the people and traditions of Delmarva. Absolutely. It is who we are. Uh, Delmarva is life for most of us. Um, it, it's rich, steeped in history. We have, you know, the marsh. We're going to be talking about trapping and hunting on the marsh. Uh, it's a, the marsh is a part of who we are as a, 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 as a culture. It's a fabric of what we do. So this is really, really important. And I think especially for the little ones, mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of this is not necessarily being taught in school because we have our STEM and STEAM going on. And this is just a wonderful opportunity for them 
program to get a hands-on experience of all of these wonderful uh, traditions that make up their their being really yeah all right well let's go over the event details it is uh coming up this weekend yes uh june 23rd from 10 a.m to 5 p.m at the ward museum of wild Fowl art it is a del marvelous festival and we can guarantee you it is going to be del marvelous it will Shauna, be <laughs> thank you <laughs> so thank much. you very much lisa and jimmy yeah thank you all right jimmy well you